Learn how to compare and order numbers in this fantastic episode. Learning can be fun. If you like learning in exciting and engaging ways, then Talking Study Guides is for you. I'm Mr. C, and let's get started. In this episode, we're going to learn why some numbers are bigger than others. It's kind of like an intense arm wrestling match. Let the bigger number win. Yeah. Go! Ow! Woo! I've been comparing numbers for a long time, and that was an intense match. It feels great to win, but I need to say a couple things first. I just want to thank my number, 1,000, 240 for having a thousands place. That was what led to our great victory. Comparing numbers means to look for similarities and differences. If we're comparing two numbers, we need to study the numbers very closely. Let's talk about some things to look for. When we are comparing whole numbers and trying to determine which one is greater, we need to start by counting the total number of digits that the number has. If one of the numbers has more digits than the other one, it will automatically be a larger number. This is the quickest way to tell if one number is greater than another and should always be done first. If the two numbers that are being compared have the same number of digits, we can't tell which one is greater just yet. We need to look at the greatest place value column that the number has. This is the column all the way to the left of the number. In this example, 724 is larger than 698 because seven is greater than six. If we try the first two steps and we can't tell which is greater yet, we must keep comparing the numbers in each place value column until we find a number that is bigger than the other one. Determining which number is greater is kind of like being a referee. You need to make sure that you make the right call. Let's learn a little bit more though about our math symbols. I want to introduce you to my reptile friend. I think you're going to like him. Hi kids, I'm Gator Gary and we're going to talk about math science today. Let's start our lesson by putting your hands like this and you're going to make a mini gator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Now remember, when you're comparing numbers, the mini gator always goes facing the larger number. We're off to a great start. Let's learn more about comparing numbers using the greater than and less than sign. Let's figure out what symbol we need to use when we're comparing the number 181 with the number 79 we need to use the greater than symbol showing that my mouth is facing the number 181. That's because 181 has a hundreds place instead of just having a tens place. It has three digits instead of two. When we're comparing the numbers 2150 to 2142, we see that they both have the same number of digits. We can't tell which one is greater yet. Now we've got to start looking at our place value columns all the way to the left. They both have a two in the thousands place. They both have a one in the hundreds place. But I know that in the tens place, five is greater than four. So 2,150 is a greater number. For this math problem, we have to solve both sides before we determine which side is greater than the other. On the left side we have 15 plus 5. I know that that equals 20, so I'm going to write that on the left side. On the other side we have 30 take away 20. I know that that equals 10, so I'm going to write that down. Now I can tell that 20 is greater than 10. I'm going to write my greater than symbol where the teeth are facing the 20. 
Sometimes we come across numbers on both sides that have the exact same value. In this case, we're going to put the equal symbol right in the middle. Ordering numbers means that you're putting numbers in order based on their value. If you are asked to put numbers in order from least to greatest, you're going to start out with the smallest number that you have and then get bigger as you order the numbers. Let's order the following numbers from least to greatest. Our numbers are 58, 146, and 33. The smallest of these numbers is 33 because it only has a tens place and it has a three in it. Next comes the number 58 and finally 146. 146 is the largest number in the set of numbers because it is the only one that has a hundreds place. If you're asked to order numbers from greatest to least, you're then going to start with the biggest number in your set and then get smaller. Let's order the following numbers from greatest to least. Our numbers are 478, 832, and 600. All of the numbers have three digits, so at first glance, it's a three-way tie. After further review though, 832 is the largest and will be listed first because it has an eight in the hundreds place. Next will be 600 and last will be 478. All right, kids, now it's time to test your skills. Remember what I taught you and see how many questions you can get correct. Go get them. Question one, what sign should be used when comparing the numbers 997 to 1,234? Our gator mouth needs to be facing the number 1,234. 1,234 is greater because it has four places. 997 only has three places, so it must be smaller. Question two, what number is larger? The number 2,481 or the number 2,469? The number 2,481 is larger. Let's take a moment to understand why. Both numbers have four digits. They have the same numbers in the thousands place and the hundreds place. When we arrived at the tens place, a champion finally emerged. Question three, using the greater than, less than, or equal sign, solve the problem below. 20 minus four is greater than, less than, or equal to 10 plus six. The equal sign is the symbol that is correct. 20 minus four is 16 and 10 plus six is also 16, meaning that both sides are equal to each other. Friends, I just want to say that you did a gatorific job today. I hope that you learned a ton and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hi kids, I'm get whoa, yow. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. That hurt. Thanks for watching.